volume of solid of revolution. Rotation about the x-axis. So this says, when the area PQRS is rotated 360 degrees about the x-axis, a volume called the solid of revolution is formed. Now the volume V of the solid of revolution, when the curve Y is equal to F of X is rotated one revolution about the x-axis between X is equal to A and X is equal to B, is given by the formula V is equal to um, pi times the integral from A to B of Y squared dx. All right, I just want to take maybe a minute to try and explain where such a formula um, could come from. Now, we're going to rotate PQRS about the um, x-axis. But I'm going to first start by rotating a very thin strip. Now, this strip is so thin that the strip approximates a rectangle. All right, so the height here is y, and um, the thickness is um, delta x, or del x. Now, if I rotate this very thin strip about the um, y-axis, um, a solid um, that looks something maybe like this could be formed. All right, so this is the x-axis. I just rotate this thing one time about the x-axis. So the height here is still y, all right, or the radius of the solid. So the solid that is approximate is a um, cylinder, and the thickness or height of the solid is delta x. Now, the volume, as I said, this shape is a cylinder, and the cylinder is a solid shape with a uniform cross-section. And the volume of all solid shape with a uniform cross-section is given by the formula V is equal to A times H, where A is the area of the uniform cross-section. So the uniform cross-section is a circle, so it is pi R square H. Now, in this instance, um, the radius R is Y, and the thickness H is delta X. So the volume of the little strip that was generated from, um, from the solid that was generated by rotating that strip, um, one revolution about the x-axis is pi R square, which is Y square, um, H, which is delta X. And so the volume now for generating the entire area from A to B about the um, x-axis, that volume V would actually equal to pi, and it's the integral from what? A to B of y squared delta x. So it's a rough idea of um, where this formula um, came from. Let's have a look at an example. Example 15 says, find the volume of the solid formed when the region bounded by the curve y is equal to the root of x, the lines x is equal to 1, x is equal to 4, and the x-axis is rotated 2 pi about the x-axis. So we already stated that this volume would be equal to pi times the integral from um, 1 to 4 of y squared dx. Now, why we know? We know that y is equal to the root of x, but what we need for the calculation is y squared. So I'm going to square both sides. Now, if you square y, you're going to get y squared. If you square the root of x, you're going to get x. So therefore, the volume V is equal to pi, the integral from 1 to 4 of y squared, which is x, dx. If I integrate x, I'm going to get x squared. So this is x squared divided by the new power, which is 2. 
and the limits are 1 and 4. Pi is outside, and this is what the volume is equal to. Um, replace, I'm going to replace, so pi again outside. I'm going to replace um, x with 4, so this is 4 square over 2. Minus, replace x with 1, 1 square over 2. So this becomes pi, and then inside the brackets, I'm going to have 16 over 2 minus 1 over 2. Now, um, 16 minus 1 is 15. So my final answer is um, 15 over 2 pi cubic units. All right, and it's cubic units because I'm dealing with volume. So what have we learned so far? So the volume that is formed when um, the error on the curve y is equal to f of x is rotated um, one revolution about the x-axis um, within the limits um, from between a and b is given by the formula v is equal to pi, the integral from a to b of y squared dx. All right, let's see it um, at least one more time in action. Um, example 16 says, find the volume of the solid formed when the region bounded by the curve y is equal to 2 plus sine x. Um, the line x is equal to 0, x is equal to 2 pi, and the x-axis is rotated through 2 pi radians about the x-axis. So if I rotate um, an area, um, um, one revolution about the x-axis, I'm going to get v is equal to the integral. So my limits are 0 and what? 2 pi of y squared dx. Again, we know what y is. y is equal to 2 plus sine x. Um, but for our calculation, we need y squared. So I'm going to square both sides. And I'm going to end up with y squared is equal to 4 plus 4 sine x plus sine square x. All right. Now, to integrate sine, sine square x, I have to first change it to something. So um, cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So 2 sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x. Now, if I divide um, both sides of the equation by 2, I'm going to end up with sine squared x is equal to 1 half minus cosine 2x over 2. So now I can say that the volume V is equal to pi, let's put my pi here, is equal to pi, the integral from 0 to 2 pi of y squared, which is 4 plus um, 4 sine x plus a half minus cos 2x over 2. And that last part is sine square x. And I'm integrating this with respect to x. Um, now, 4 plus a half is 4 and a half. 4 and a half is the same as, say, 9 over 2. So now I have this is pi. And I'm integrating. I'm going to have 9 over 2x. Um, if I integrate sine, I'm going to get minus cos. So this is minus 4 cos um, x. Um, if I integrate cos, I'm going to get sine. So this is sine 2x. sine 2x, which is over 2, 
And of course, you have to divide by the differential of the inside function, which is 2, within the limits 0 to 2 pi. All right. So now I'm going to um, replace x with 2 pi. So I'm going to have pi here. And inside the bracket, I'm going to have um, pi over 2 times 2 pi minus 4 cosine 2 pi. I'm replacing x with 2 pi minus sine um, 4 pi. That's 2 pi times 2 is 4 pi over 4. Minus, I'm going to replace x with 0. So this is 9 over 2 times 0 minus 4, the cosine of 0, minus um, sine 4 times 0 is 0 over 4. All right. Um, let's finish this. So to the left, I'm going to have pi outside the bracket still. And over here, I'm going to have um, 9 pi because the 2 cancels the 2. Um, the cosine of 2 pi is 0. So z um, is 1. So 1 times minus 4 is minus 4. The sine of 4 pi is 0. So that goes um, minus over the left-hand side. 9 over 2 times 0 is 0. The cosine of 0 is 1. So this is 4 times 1, which is minus 4. And the sine of 0 is 0. So that goes. And then now what we end up with is this is pi. Inside I have um, 9 pi minus 4. A negative times a negative is a positive 4. And of course, minus 4 plus 4 is 0. That goes. So all that remains in the bracket, in the bracket is 9 pi. So 9 pi times pi is 9 pi squared. So my volume is equal to 9 pi square cubic units. All right. And so um, one more time, the volume, um, the volume or solid of red, um, the volume of the solid of revolution, um, if the curve y is equal to f of x, is rotated. Um, between x is equal to um, a and x is equal to b about the x-axis, one revolution, that volume v is equal to pi times the integral from a to b of y squared dx. All right. Of course, we'll do more questions that involve the use of this formula. All right.